spend any time at all online, there's a pretty good chance you've seen this video. This video features a Volkswagen Beetle with a fifth wheel cam trailer that attaches to a hinge. The year was 1974. The company, International Travel Trailer Inc. And the car they decided to use for the promotional video, a Volkswagen Beetle. Some call this just another small car gimmick. But it's hard to say whether or not this trailer ever really took off because it seems to be the only evidence we have that this trailer ever existed is this YouTube video. Whether this trailer was a prototype or whether it was produced for the general public, the only thing that most people can agree on is that they have never seen it. Whether the company knew it or not at the time, the use of the VW Beetle as a tow rig was a stroke of genius. There's one thing VW owners love more than their cars. It's period correct accessories for their cars. And for some Volkswagen Beetle owners, this trailer is the holy grail of accessories. With features like a kitchenette, a bath and shower, and sleeping on the floor, how would this thing not be a hit at the next club camp? What you are about to see is the first documented discovery of one of the This is one of my favorite videos. I had heard a long time ago someone told me that in the 70s the roof of the vehicle had to be able to support like two times the weight of the vehicle. So a lot of these older vehicles they had what would be nowadays uncommonly strong roofs. So to do this back then would be no problem. This is a gentleman, Bob. He owns one in Colorado. Built his own custom rooftop mounted hitch. He's got the power plug or your turning signals. But he had to experiment with the height and able to get it to do a 360 turn. His previous owner has added some steel. Looks like two by two framing underneath here. Goes all the way down. Goes all the way down, even underneath to the axle. Still would like to see what type of suspension that axle has. No matter if it's typical. A leaf spring on each side of a solid axle or independent. That looks like a solid axle. But what I've wanted to see for maybe the last 15 years is the inside. This trailer is so intriguing to me, especially the, what seems to be the aerodynamics of it. I mean, they go narrow at the front and then narrow at the back. Seems like an advanced aerodynamics to me. It's right inside the front door. We have a kitchen area. There's actually a little stove here that uh, is removable. You can actually just slide this in here, pull the stove out and then stow it down underneath in this cabinet here. There's a little sink. Uh, there's also actually, Bob was showing me a gas and uh, cook outside with it. Under here is just the, below the sink. Moving into here is the bathroom. All this has been, all this is new. All new plumbing. Um, there's a shower in here. Up over the front, there's a there's a bed here. Looks like probably two three inch foam mattress. Really, actually, really good sized bed. Um, two two adults could easily sleep. Behind me is a fridge, and uh, Bob was actually open here. How do I open this, Bob? Just pull hard. Just pull hard. All right, there we go. So there's the fridge, and but uh, <clears throat> he got that all sorted out, got it all rewired and uh, got the fridge working good. So now back into this area here, we got a 
closet, little closet rod. Burn this down here. And then this would be the, I guess the living quarters, the seating area. Got a nice, uh, nice table. It actually will drop down and this area converts into another bed uh, for, for sleeping. But it's actually got a really good size. It's nice drapes, window that opens up with a screen. But this is actually really pretty roomy back here. Another thing Bob was saying that the previous, previous owner had mentioned that right in this area here, there were some stairs that uh, basically came all the way down into this hallway and then there were, were stairs to, to access that uh, bed up over the overshot. So that water is to fill the water tank. So this is a water fill here? Yeah. That's just a vent because that's where your converter is. Okay. Well, that water is to fill the water tank. So this is a water fill here? Yeah. That's just a vent because that's where your converter is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay, just a bit. Yeah. And then around the back here. Uh, which what this water? Is where you hook holes to it. So you like, can just have running water yeah, hooked up uh -huh. to the campground. And then the plug in there's plug in um, vent for water. hot water heater. Yeah. Okay. And it works off the gas. Okay. That's gas. Okay. And then right here we have. Uh, right here we have. Just the gray water dump. Great. Well, I guess this is, this is out of the holding tank and this is out of the shower. So it'd be both dump both gray yeah. and black water. See, when I got it, it didn't have this little piece here. Oh, okay. You just so run you your gray water. water out on the ground. Oh, you just run it on the ground. And I had figured that might have been all right in 1970, but <laughs> not, not so much today. Yeah. And then yeah. right here, propane bottles. So anyway, that's the end of it. I've basically uh, combined two of my favorite videos. I've always wanted to see the inside of this trailer. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Bob.